Pastor Mark Barrows from Christ in Action. How you doing, Pastor? Well, it's a terrific Tuesday, faithful, and we got the joy that the Lord gives. Hey, good morning. Can you hear me, Pastor? All right, yeah, we had a, a brief moment there, but uh, hearing you loud and clear, just rejoicing on this day the Lord has made. I'm sorry, I seem to have lost you again. I said, go ahead and put some joy in our heart this morning. Uh -oh. The Lord woke us up and turned us around, and we need you to continue to help us stay on solid ground. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, Tennessee Valley, Pastor Mark Barrows, of Christ in action. All right, indeed, delighted on this terrific Tuesday to be sharing the good news, and we have joy in our hearts today. Because Jesus taught us in, in Luke chapter 10, he said, our reason for rejoicing is to know that our name is written in heaven. Why does he tell us that? Well, it is because if our names are indeed written in heaven, then he knows our name. He knows our name. Daddy, God knows our name. And someone said, it's in who you know. Well, actually is who knows you quite frankly and who you know is important because the who you know knows you and particularly when we're talking about our personal and intimate relationship with our daddy god and our lord our king our savior our friend our brother our high priest and advocate jesus christ our lord yes friend there's everything that is in a name in fact from the very start, the scriptures declare in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 2 that in the beginning God created <clears throat> man, male and female created he them, uh, and he called their name Adam from the very start, which uh, in translated to the, is mankind or humankind. And so then God called us and gave us and named us from the start having created us in his own image and his own likeness. And throughout scripture, it's amazing that uh, we oftentimes now in our time, we, we name names by the sound. You know, we put a name as child is born based upon how that name sounds to us. But from the scriptural days and from the time began, a name had invested within it. Uh, certain uh, identity and character, and it was a prophecy and a foretelling of the life of, that was in that name. Some examples are in Genesis 12, God calls out to uh, Abram and he changes his name to Abraham because he has a promise for him to be the father of many nations when he had no children, changed his wife Sarai to Sarah, which is princess of God. And uh, because he had in mind for them a life and a purpose and a call and something that he would do for them and through them in this world. In fact, he declared that in uh, the seed of Abraham would all nations of the earth be blessed. We could go on and on from uh, uh, Jacob, who was a trickster, a supplanter, to God changed his name to Israel, Prince of God. He said, well, why do I need to know this? Well, friend, if he knows your name, then your name being known by him is uh, a truth to be held to. Jesus spoke this in Luke chapter 10 after he had sent his disciples out to and uh, told them to go on his behalf and do what he had been doing. And they went and did as he did. They began to to preach and to teach and cast out devils and to heal the sick on the authority of his name. And when they came back rejoicing, they said, even the devils are subject to us in your name. And Jesus said, that's the, the real reason to rejoice is, is that your name is hid, hid, written in heaven. For I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Well, what's that all about, friend? Him knowing our name says that we are recognized and authorized and blessed in heavenly places with every spiritual blessing. 
Your name is on the roll. You are accounted for. And because you are accounted for, uh, you are known. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 13, that the foundation of God stands sure. The Lord knows them that are his. Well, friend, what do I have to do with this? We are to be what he's called us to be because we know that he knows us. Knowing that he is with us and that he knows our name, he calls us and he leads us forth. This is a personal and intimate walk that we who have heard him call us and have answered him and embraced him as Lord and King, we walk day by day with this assurance that God is for us. He's on our side. He's in our corner. We can raise up and step up and we can go in his name, stepping out in faith because we know he's with us. He knows us. He's on our side and he's on our corner and we are his agents in this world. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. Knowing this, together, 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 you and I, we are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him as love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news all this terrific Tuesday, Faithful. That's delicious. Say amen. <laughs> amen, amen, and amen again. <laughs> yeah, we receive that in the name of Jesus, and we just thank you for doing what you do each and every day. Glorify God's name. Give him all the praise and all the glory. Yes. Doing what you're doing, Pastor. Yes, ma'am. And you keep doing the same. You got the gospel blowing up across the Tennessee Valley. We're glad to be a part of it. And we just pray that you have a great day on purpose. All right. We'll both have a great day on purpose. All right. Be blessed now. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen. Uh, he knows our name. We're known of him. Your, your name is registered. You are a citizen of the kingdom of God as those who have uh, heard the call of uh, him calling us to him, uh, to embrace him as Lord and King, as our Savior, our Redeemer. And we are the redeemed of the Lord as we embrace him and we say so. We are redeemed and we have the, the redemptive name uh, of, of Christ upon us. We are washed, sanctified, and justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of the Lord God. Well, why are you telling me all this as I share it? Hey, listen, it is so that you will walk out that name, walk in that name. He knows your name. Walk like he knows you. Think like he knows you. Pray like he knows you. Love like he knows you. Go forth in faith and confidence and victory and triumph and uh, because you know that he's for you and he knows you. And since he is for you, he knows you, he's for you, and he's on your side, what or who can be against you? Now, go forth, share that with others. Well, how do you do it? Remember this always, God loves himself of you. We do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Do have a terrific Tuesday, a terrific uh, balance of your week. Have a terrific year. Have a terrific life. And make somebody else's life terrific. And uh, because you're authorized by the one who made you, the one who made the day, and has you here, have a terrific Tuesday. Have a terrific life. Bye-bye for now. We'll talk to you again real soon.